All right, on this side of the engine, what I want to do is to remove the uh, the engine brake. So what I'm going to do is squeeze these little rubber tabs, and that's all there is to it. Now before we go any further, we're going to make sure the oil is drained out of this thing. Alright, we've got the oil drained. And the next step I want to do is to take um, the valve cover off and see what that looks like inside. Now there may be a little oil in there. And there is just a little. I see it's going to need a new gasket. And the springs look intact. And the retainer clips look intact. There's definitely a lot of compression. And the valves are going up and down. So that's a good sign. Alright. Now I think it's time to get serious. And we'll start getting the flywheel off. And we'll even get the head off of this thing and we'll see what the piston looks like. Alright, time to remove the flywheel. Um, although this is a Tecumseh engine, I have a Briggs & Stratton flywheel holder here uh, and it just happens to uh, to fit pretty good on my flywheel. So I have my little breaker bar here with a 3 quarter inch socket. That goes inside there. And we'll see if we can move this nut. Oh, there we go. Pretty easy actually. Take that off of there. That's step one. Alright, I've got my gear puller on my flywheel and I'm going to try to do this very gently and hopefully the flywheel won't break. There it is. Quite dramatically, I might add, there's my flywheel.